okay so the next technique the next seafaring technique we will be discussing is hill seafer so hill seafer it was invented by uh, lester s hill in 1929 and this was the technique which was the first technique uh, which uh, uh, encrypted more than three symbols in one go okay so we will we will be discussing that how do we implement this uh, ciphering technique to encrypt the given plain text so what we will do is we will be using yes we will be using this key which will be uh, in this m by m matrix form right and the plain text we will be dealing with we will uh, we will we will be uh, you know writing that plain text into the column matrix form and how do we do that uh, i'll i'll just explain you with the help of an example uh, but uh, uh, for for now you have to keep in your mind that we will be using the key which will be uh, you know a matrix of uh, uh, m by m size and the plain text will be um, in the form of a column matrix right so these are some key points for hill cipher each letter uh, that is the same thing each letter is rep represented by a number of uh, modulo 26 mm, the same thing which we have uh, done for uh, all of the ciphering techniques which we have discussed so far and we will be using the same scheme right we will be having this value 0 for a uh, 1 for b and 25 for z right right and what do we do to encrypt a message each block of m letters will be considered as m component vector right so what does it mean i'll tell you with the help of an example because right now you will not understand it so it will be uh, multiplied uh, by an invertible m into m matrix now this matrix is the key matrix okay and here we are talking about encrypting the message so while encrypting the message what do we do we take plain text and the value of key and we generate some value out of it by adding it or multiplying it but here in kill in in hill cipher what we do we multiply these values okay what what values the value of key which is a matrix and the value of plain text okay which we write as a column matrix okay to decrypt the message uh, what what will we be doing here in in, in uh, encryption uh, uh, while while encrypting the message we are multiplying the value of key or the key matrix with plain text so while decrypting the message what we will do we will multiply the plain text and the inverse of key which we did in multiplicative cipher right so to decrypt the message each block which we have created over here each block of m letters will be multiplied by the inverse of the matrix okay which we have used for encryption right which we have used at the sending end so we have to find out the inverse of that matrix which uh, we have used at the sending end and we will be using that inverse at the decrypting end to find the corresponding plain text. So uh, next point says that the matrix used for encryption is the cipher key. Okay, so um, we we call uh, we we use it uh, we use this matrix at the ciphering end. So we call it cipher key, and this matrix should be chosen randomly from the set of invertible m by m matrices modulo 26 so each value in that matrix should not exceed uh, uh, you know value 26 right so it should be um, up to 25 only okay so uh, we will be using these matrices for calculating or for for implementing hill cipher now how do we do this 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 is the key which we will be using that is the same initial table which we have used for each and every ciphering technique so here you can see the value for a is 0 b for b it is 1 and just like this all the alphabets have some values and the last alphabet z is having value 25 so that is the key we will be using or the the 
the values for uh, plain text or cipher text right now this is how we implement hill cipher so for ciphering or for generating the encrypted message we will be using this expression and for deciphering we will be using this expression okay so here if we are multiplying the value of a to p so while decrypting it we will be multiplying the inverse of k to c and will find its mode 26 right so how we will do this now these are simple expressions but in hill cipher we will be using matrices so uh, in if 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 we want to write these expressions for for the elements of matrices then how do we do that say for example this is the matrix okay matrix will always be of size m by m so here uh, this is uh, m by m matrix okay which is the key matrix and we will be generating the cipher text using the plain text and these values of key which are there in the key matrix right so for p1 we will be using k11 for p2 we will be using k21 and just like this for pm we will be using am1 for encrypting another column matrix of uh, the plain text uh, i'll tell you how to create that column matrix of plain text because we are multiplying the matrices right so we have to create a matrix for a plain text as well uh, al along with this key matrix i'll tell you how to do that uh, but but you need to understand that uh, which value we will be up which value we will be multiplying with which value of key right so here for uh, uh, for finding this uh, you know second entry for uh, uh, cipher text we will be multiplying the value of p1 with k12 then p2 with k22 and at last p1 with km2 so this process goes on until you reach to the last uh, alphabet in the plain text right and you will find mode 26 uh, okay so because we 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 can uh, you know have values from 0 to 25 only but one thing you have to keep in your mind that this matrix which we are using over here you have to find out its inverse as well because that inverse we will be using while decrypting the message okay so the receiver will be using that uh, value which is the inverse of uh, uh, or, or the multiplicative inverse of this given key okay so since this is in matrix form so hum log kya karenge? We, will, we will be finding out the matrix inverse okay is matrix the inverse we will be finding out and we will be using that uh, inverse of matrix uh, in in case of decrypting the message okay so these things might be you know uh, unclear right now uh, you you might be getting confused but once we we we, we will be doing the example the things will be clear to you right okay so this is now example now i will tell you that uh, how we use the key and uh, how do we create column matrices using the plain text because we will be multiplying the column matrix which we have created using the plain text with the key matrix so here you see this is the plain text right and this is the key so you can see this key is 2 by 2 okay so now if your key is 2 by 2 you'll be creating matrices for plain text of size 2 by 1 okay why because i told you that you have to create a column matrix right so uh, this column matrix will have uh, this two rows why because key is of size 2 by 2 right uh, it, it will always be of size m by m if it is 3 by 3 in that case you will be creating column matrices for plain text of size 3 by 1 right and this process goes on so here 
we have this plain text which is network and the key is this one so what we will do we will create the column matrices out of it right the column matrices will be of size 2 by 1 so it will be having two rows and one column right so we will be making pairs out of it so two values we will be taking the next two alphabets from the te uh, plain text we will be taking next two and this last one character this character is left it is only one character so we will add a bogus character okay we we can take x or z or any other character of your choice so we will be creating another matrix for it so it will be the, the matrices will be like this n e this will be the first column matrix for the given plain text okay after that we will have t w okay and like this we will be having four column matrix one for n e then for w then for o r and then for k x which are written over here okay so we'll be using these pairs as column matrices and uh, along with this we have to check their values as well because we will be ultimately using the values for calculation for multiplying this key with the plain text okay so the, these are the corresponding values which we have taken from that initial table right so how we will be uh, now converting this plain text to cipher text what we will do we will be multiplying this key to all of these column matrices one by one right and we will be generating the cipher text now how we will do that we will be applying this this equation this one okay so once you do this calculation you will be finding the first cipher text okay this could be a matrix as well so you are using a matrix of two by one over here so while uh, calculating for c1 you will be getting two values okay for, uh, which will be replacing n and e right so here is the calculation now here the value of n is 13 and the value of e is 4 right so this is the key matrix and this is the column matrix which we have created for n and e which is of size 2 by 1 now when we multiply them what will we get how do we uh, how do we multiply matrices you multiply this this value to this value so 2 into 13 plus 3 into 4 right it gives you 38 the next is 1 into 13 plus 3 into 4 which gives you 25 Okay, so now you got these two values but 38 is this is greater than 26 so that is why we calculate modulus 26 for it so 38 uh, 38 more 26 gives you 12 and 25 more 26 gives gives you 25 okay so now we will check their corresponding entry for the c for text in that table so 12 is having entry as m and 25 is having entry as z so that cipher text for this plain text or for this matrix this 2 by 1 matrix which we have created out of plain text n and e we have this corresponding cipher text which is m and z right so this is uh, in the very first um, column matrix which we have created out of plain text now we will deal with the second column matrix which was t and w here you can see this was n e the next is t w then o r and then k x so now we will be in ciphering t w so again the same process will be followed the value of t and w will be taken we will multiply this column matrix with this key matrix and we will be getting these values then we'll be finding their mode 26 
so these two values you get over here and their corresponding c for text entry are entries are a and h so uh, this t and w will be encrypted to a and h fine next is another part of plain text which is or okay again the same process will be followed their values will be multiplied to the key okay and then their mode will be found out and their corresponding entry for the c for text will be taken so or will be encrypted as b n and same with k and x so after this whole calculation you can find out that the c for text for k x is l b okay so now for this plain text which is network with this added key uh, with with this ad added alphabet this bogus character we have this cipher text this one okay so this cipher text will be sent over the network okay and the receiver will receive it and then decrypt it okay so for decryption what we have to do we have to multiply their values with the inverse of that key matrix which we have used for encryption now how do we find the inverse of matrix so that is the main thing over here in hill cipher okay uh, rest of the calculation are simple but finding this inverse of the given key matrix is crucial right so now we have this text which is cipher text uh, we have used this formula for uh, enciphering the plain text now we will use this formula for deciphering right so here you can see we are using inverse of k which is the key matrix and we are multiplying it with the cipher text right now how do we find this inverse now this inverse is uh, we we can find out using this expression right so we'll be finding out the determinant of the matrix and then we will be inversing it okay so this is 1 by Uh, the determinant of matrix k right so we'll be finding out the finding out the determinant first and then we will find out the inverse of that value okay multiplicative inverse of that value and then we will be multiplying that value with the with this um uh, this with uh, the adjoint of the matrix right so this is the key we we have with us okay now the adjoint of matrix how do we find it we interchange this a11 and a2 now this here this is the entry for uh, k11 right so i will write it over here this is k1 this is k 1 2 this entry is k 2 1 and this is k 2 2 fine so what we do is to find the adjoint of uh, any given matrix we interchange these values these two values right and we change the sign of these two values right so if you find the adjoint of this matrix what you will get you will be getting these values will be interchanged 3 and 2 and the sign of these two values will be changed right so this is how we find the adjoint of the given 2 by 2 matrix okay next task is to find the determinant of matrix and then finding out its inverse now how do you find uh, the determinant of matrix you simply multiply these two values a11 and a22 in this case we can call it k11 and k2 and then you subtract this multiplication of k21 and 
K12. Okay, so here you can see the determinant of uh, this given matrix K, which we represent like this, is calculated using this expression. So here, if you put the entries of the matrix over here, so you get 3 um, into 2 minus 3 into 1. So we get 3 as a result after all this calculation. Right, so the determinant of the given matrix is 3. But this determinant uh, you are not going to use in calculation. What you need is inverse of it because we are using this k divided by, uh, sorry, 1 divided by determinant of the given matrix. So that means you are using, if, if we write say 1 divided by k, we say that is the inverse of k. So if we are writing 1 divided by determinant of uh, k, we, we say that this is inverse of the determinant, right? So we have to find out inverse of this number, okay, which is the determinant. So we, we if we find out the multiplicative inverse of this number, then it turns out to be 9. You can use this, that uh, extended Euclidean method to find out the multiplicative inverse, right? So the value for this part of this whole expression is now 9. Okay, so here if I tell you, yes, so here you can see that this part is having value what? It is having value 9. Okay. And this adjoint of K is having value what? This one. So what we will do now? We will be multiplying these two values. This 9 with this key. Okay. And the result will be the inverse of the given key. Now how do we do that? You can see it over here. So this value for the inverse of the determinant is 9. Okay. And this is the adjoint of the given matrix, which we have written over here. This is the same thing which we have written over here. Okay. And then we will find its mode 26 because we need to keep the values from 0 to 25. Right. So after multiplying by 9, we get these values of the matrices. Uh, of the elements of the matrix then we will find its mode so for 27 you get value 1 for minus 27 what you will get as remainder minus 27 but uh, uh, sorry this will be minus 1 but uh, this um, negative value of uh, modulus is not acceptable so we will add value 26 to it so minus 1 plus 26 will give you 25 Okay, so the value corresponding to this will be 1. The value corresponding to this will be 25. Same with minus 9. So minus 9 mod 26 gives you minus 9. Again, we have to make it positive value. So we will add 26 to it. And we get 17 as result. Now the fourth value which is 18, it gives you 18 after finding out its mod 26. So this is the final inverse matrix which we get. So you can say that this matrix is the inverse matrix of that initial key which we have used for encryption. Now this key we will be using for decrypting the message. Right. Now how we will, uh, how we will be using it? We will be using the same method but this time this key will be used. Right. So how do we do that? You can see it from here. Yes, this is the cipher text, fine. So we'll uh, again consider it pair by pair. So the first pair is MZ. Again, this is the column matrix. So this is 12 and 25. This is the matrix we have. So what we will do, we'll be multiplying the key inverse with cipher text. And we'll be finding out its mode. Okay, so we'll be multiplying these two matrices 
will be finding out this value and then its mode so after finding its mode these values we will get so again we will check for their corresponding plain text so you can see from this table n is having value 13 and 4 is it is here 4 is having value e so you get the plain text for this c for text mz so the plain text is n e so just like this we will calculate for each and every pair over here so now we will take a h so when we calculate this thing we will be using the same inverse key and the corresponding value of a and uh, h right then we'll finding out its mode 26 right and uh, we'll be getting these answers so you can check their values from here this is 3 and 22 is w right so we get next pair as t and w for the plain text next is b n okay so b n the process will be same this is key inverse this is the cipher text this is the multiplication then mode 26 you find out and as a result you get this plain text and its corresponding letters will be written over here then the last pair so the same process will be followed and you get this plain text okay so as a result you get for this c for text you get this plain text fine okay one more thing so this is how this hill cipher works now this is the table which is uh, you know to find the inverse of uh, uh, the determinant right? because uh, sometimes you know it is difficult to uh, it, it is time consuming to find the multiplicative inverse using that extended euclidean so if uh, uh, you know you if you if you want to use you can uh, make use of this table as well so i will tell you that how do you uh, you know put entries in this table so from uh, you know for these columns we have entries from 0 to 25 because we, we move from 0 to 25 always because we are using 26 alphabets right so in rows also we move from 0 to 25 now here what we will do is we'll be finding out uh, their multiplication and then the mode with 26 if the multiplication exceeds uh, from 25 right so here you can see this one multiplied by one it gives you value one right okay so this is the value of the, uh, uh, the this multiplication mode 26 so this multiplication is one and one mode 26 gives you one right so uh, for for this uh, this particular row you will be having these values from 0 to 25 right for 2 as well you can see in this entry the multiplication is 2 into 1 okay the multiplication is 2 so when you find its mode so 2 mode 26 gives you 2 okay if you check for this entry 2 into 2 which gives you 4 so 4 more 26 gives you 4 okay so these entries are they they are uh, uh, you know they are not exceeding from uh, uh, 25 right so one thing uh, you can yes the, the values are exceeding over here after 12 for for uh, this for this 2 as well so how we can uh, deal with it you can see here so 13 into 2 gives you 26 right so 26 more 26 gives you 0 so that is why we have written 0 over here you can check for this value as well this is 14 this is 2 so 2 14s are yes 28 and 28 more 26 gives you 2 so we have written this value over here right 
so here the main thing is when you find out multiplicative inverse uh, the, the 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 thing which we uh, look for is uh, you know when the mode of uh, uh, the given number with 26 it it becomes one right so when we look for multiplicative inverse we look for uh, the the number which gives you one remainder when you find out its mode with 26 right so if if you remember that thing uh, a is congruent to b uh, sorry one mode 26 right so that is the thing we look for right so here you can see that in this table wherever you find this entry 1 that means those numbers are multiplicative inverse of each other right because this is the value which uh, uh, which gives you the result for uh, this multiplication mode 26 so if it turns out to be 1 that means these numbers are multiplicative inverse of each other so here you can see if you multiply these values 3 and 9 it gives you 27 so 27 mode 26 gives you 1 okay so and 1 mode 26 gives you 1 so these numbers are congruent okay so we can say that uh, 3 and 9 they are multiplicative inverse of each other so just like this here you can see this entry 1 Okay, so you can say that this 5 is multiplicative inverse of which number? 21. Okay, because when you uh, multiply them, you get 105. And when you find out 105 more 26, the result is 1. Right. So, we can, we can make use of this table also. But, uh, you know, designing this table will be, uh, again, a very time-consuming task. So you you can you can just remember the multiplicative inverses of the given number up to 25 because there are only 12 numbers up to uh, you know up to 26 which are which have uh, their multiplicative inverses right so that will be um, easier right so that's all for today so that's all about uh, Hill Cipher okay.